Hi folks, well as you can see I'm a good bit further on now with the uh, kitchen cupboards for the minibus. Uh, I've got them all glossed uh, white inside, uh, so that's going to be the final finish for, the, for there. Uh, on the outside here I've got this uh, blue gloss on just now, that isn't actually going to be uh, the final finish. That's just a, a backing for uh, what's to come. And then uh, just undercoated on top there. And I'll show you why uh, later on. But first, I'm going to put these uh, hinges on and uh, figure out where the holes are going to get drilled for the catches. So now I've got the doors fastened on in the positions they're going to be. Uh, I'm going to figure out now where to drill the holes for these uh, type latches. So these are the button type where you press them and they retract and then press again and it uh, latches in place. I require that piece of metal or bracket whatever you call it a latch uh, to fasten behind the door and then this locks in behind it locking the door so they don't open marks in transit. You can see that. I've decided to put, I'm going to put these at the top of the doors for the main reason that if I put it in a lower down I wouldn't be able to get this uh, gas bottle in uh, because I've just left enough clearance uh, to get the gas bottle in and out. Well, on a side note, I just uh, got this bottle from uh, uh, Toshua. Uh, I was expecting a brand new bottle, but uh, since it was supposed to be empty and I was going to have to take it uh, to get it uh, replaced and filled anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter. But what? There must be about a quarter of a bottle left in this. So that was alright, and I paid uh, £12.95 for it. So, can't beat that, it's probably enough uh, fuel in that that's going to last uh, this year's summer. Um, so, can't complain. But anyway, back on to trying to figure out now where... I just fall down. Where I've got to drill uh, the holes in the doors to line up with where that latch is. So I've got my first hole marked and uh, to drill out the 20 mil hole I'm going to use my new hole saw set that my sister bought me for my birthday last week and hopefully I've got a 20 mil in there yep 20 so it should be what? that one yep 20 mil so I'll use this and drill it out with that didn't quite go to plan. Let's see how much of that this surround covers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to paint a bit of it. And the hole on the second door went a lot neater. Now that's the two bottom ones figured out. There's one, two. Uh, now just gonna figure out the same for the top to replace this uh, quality piece of masking tape. Door. These doors open. Let's be working on it. Right, so that's all three of the uh, door latches done now. So to cover these doors, uh, what I'm going to be using is some of this uh, blue vinyl. It's kind of a wood effect or a grain effect, uh, blue vinyl. So I'm going to use that to cover the doors. I have got enough to cover the cabinets, but if you can see, that it's already got a pretty good grain effect on it, and it's a fairly good match with the vinyl. So I'm going to just try it on the doors first see what it looks like and then uh, if it needs it on the cabinets I'll do it uh, that as well but if it doesn't there's no point doing it so we'll get it cracked on and uh, put this on the first door alright so that's the first one done uh, it didn't look too bad uh, just got a bit of tidying up to do on the edges uh, just with this blue paint so it looks like it's going to stay on and it looks uh, pretty decent so we're just going to punch through this hole or just uh, slightly cut the hole for the uh, bezel to go through for the uh, latch and then that should be that so we'll get on so we'll get on and uh, do the rest of them and then we'll uh, decide if I'm going to do the uh, front of the cupboards or not as you can see it is a really good match with the uh, cupboard front anyway and that's the second door done and the bezel's put in so Looking pretty decent there. 
on with the next one. So that's the three doors done. I think I'm going to attempt uh, to cover the front of the uh, front cupboard uh, just to see what it looks like. If it doesn't look very good, I'll just take it off. Well, that's uh, both the fronts vinyl uh, and the doors and uh, all fitted up. You can see this uh, blue fabric just draped over it just now. That is what I'm going to use to cover the sides, uh, the base and the back. Uh, that's basically to protect uh, the seats. But as you can see, I think it looks pretty good in the uh, blue and the white. Uh, it should be nice and light for looking for stuff inside. And the blue uh, should match the uh, van pretty well. And even this has got a bit of uh, vinyl on it, uh, just so it doesn't get really mucky uh, when you're using it for dishing out or whatever. Uh, I was going to put um, hangers on here to hold this down, but it does seem to sit pretty level uh, just with that door open. So I'm considering not putting on hangers, but I still might change my mind. You can see here where the stages still need to uh, touch up. Overall, it's not looking too bad. It's a close look at that fabric. Probably won't be covered in the top. I might put some of the uh, uh, worktop stuff on the top of these, uh, just so they could be used independently without the worktop. But we'll see how much I've got left over uh, once I've done the worktop. So I think I'll leave it at that today. Come back to it with a fresh mind again tomorrow and do the uh, upholstery on the uh, sides and the backs. Alright, thanks for watching, bye for now.